Okay, this is the geometric mean practice. Number one says if an altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse of a tri of triangle BAN below, then name and redraw the three similar triangles created. So here we have triangle BAN. Right, we drew an altitude. So the altitude goes from the vertex of the right triangle to the hypotenuse. Okay, it's going to be perpendicular to the hypotenuse. So here's our altitude. Uh, here's triangle BAN. And then we have so that's a big triangle. Then we're gonna we're gonna have the two small triangles. So we're gonna have this triangle here. So I'm gonna rotate it and flip it. Okay. So we're gonna have triangle. The right angle is at T. This is gonna be B. This is gonna be T. I mean A. Sorry, A. Triangle. Right, so again, the right angle is at T. Okay, then this is going to be A, and this is going to be um, N. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so those are our three right triangles. They're all similar. Okay, then we want to write the similarity statement, so it's going to be triangle BAN, similar to triangle BTA, which is similar to triangle ATN. And those are our similar triangles. Okay, number two wants us to uh, find X. So like I said, if you need to or want to redraw all the triangles, you're perfectly um, uh, good to do so. Um, if you want to see how to draw the triangles or why they're similar, you're going to have to watch the uh, geometric mean notes video. Um, I'm just going to use the rules that we established to find uh, X, to find our values using, using our, our rules here. Okay, so 10. So I notice again, the three geometric means would be these three. Okay, we don't have values for the two legs, so we have 10. So is 10 an altitude or a leg? It is a, an altitude. So again, this would be 10 was over here, it'd be a leg. 10 was over here, it'd be a leg. If it's where it is, it's an altitude. So we have an altitude. If we have an altitude, we're using the two pieces of the hypotenuse. Okay, so 10 over x. Okay, so I would start off by putting 10 on both sides. Okay, the two pieces of the uh, hypotenuse are x and 5. We can cross multiply, that's 100 equals 5x. And then we can divide by 5, that is 20 equals x. The other way to do it, we know 10 is the geometric mean of 5 and x. So since 10 is the geometric mean of 5 and x, we can do... 10 equals the square root of 5 times x. Okay. 10 is the geometric mean of 5 and x. So if we multiply 5 and x, take the square root of it, that's going to be 10. Square both sides, that's going to give us 100 equals 5x. Divide by 5, and we get, again, 20 If you want to redraw the triangles, maybe I should do it for the first one here. Um, right, we're going to have this triangle here. It's going to be 5 and 10. And then this triangle here. It's going to be x and 10. So 10 is to x as 5 is to 10. Okay, so our final answer is 20. Okay, number three, the eight is a, an altitude. It's a 
an altitude. So we're going to use the two pieces of the um, hypotenuse, which are x and 4. Okay. Again, or, right, we know 8 is the ge geometric mean of 4 and x. Okay, then we can square both sides. That's 64 equals 4x. Divide by 4. And we get 16 equals x. Okay, or we can do it the other way. So 4, set up your proportion. Okay, two pieces of hypotenuse are x and 4. So that's going to be 64 equals 4x. Cross multiply, divide by 4. We get 16 equals x. Again, same thing. Okay, um, number 4. X is an is a leg, so it's not an altitude. With the altitudes, we were using the two pieces of the hypotenuse, X and 4. And this one we used X and 5. If we have a leg, again, we're using the closest piece of the hypotenuse and then the whole hypotenuse. So X over, okay. The two pieces we're using are the closest piece of the hypotenuse that's closest to the leg, so that's going to be 2, and then the entire hypotenuse, which is 2 plus 12, which is 14. Cross multiply, 14 times 2 is 28, x times x is x squared, we take the square root of both sides, we get the square root of 28 equals x. You can make it a decimal if you wanted, but square root of 28 is a more exact Okay, and again, or, right, we know x is the geometric mean between 2 and 14, between 2 and the whole thing. So it's the geometric mean. So x is the geometric mean of the product of 2 and 14, which is the square root of 5 and 6. Okay, x is a leg. Okay, so we want to use the closest piece. So x over. x is a leg, so the closest piece of the hypotenuse is 25. And then the whole hypotenuse is 45. 25 plus 20 is 45. So we're using the closest piece of the hypotenuse and the entire hypotenuse. And if you need to redraw the triangles um, to see the corresponding sides, that would be fine. Cross multiply, x squared. Um, I forget what this was. 25 times 50. Minus... 125, um, 11,000, no, not 11, well, let's just put it in the calculator. Let's see, 1,125. Okay, take the square root. 32, okay. Well, x is going to equal um, 32. Okay. Again, x is the geometric mean of 25 and 45. So again, you could also do it this way. All right, number six. Uh, x is a leg. X is a leg. So x over something is going to equal something over x. The two numbers we're going to use since this leg is the closest piece of the hypotenuse and then the whole hypotenuse. So the closest piece of the hypotenuse is 4. The entire hypotenuse is 36. 4 plus 32. So x over 4, 36 over x. That's x squared. 144. Take the square root of both sides. X is going to be 
12. It acts as the geometric mean of four and thirty-six. So twelve is the geometric mean of twelve and I mean of four and thirty-six. Seven through ten, nine, they're asking us to solve for the altitude. Okay. So the altitude, let's label it X. Let me uh, change my cursor. Okay, let's call it X. It's an altitude, so we're going to use the two pieces of the hypotenuse, which is going to be 12 and 4. We cross multiply. Take the square to both sides, get rid of the square. Uh, square root of 48, that's 4 root 3, so 16 times 3. Square root of 16 is 4, so it's 4 root 3, which is 6.9. Or you can leave it as a radical. Okay. X is your altitude. So it's going to be X over 3 equals 15 over X. Cross multiply, we get X squared equals 45. Square root of 45, that's 9 times 5. That's going to be 3 root 5, which is 6.708. Okay. Last one for x. So again, it's x over equals something over x. The two pieces are 6. And we don't know SR, but we can find it. 30 minus 6 is 24. So if the whole thing is 30 and this piece is 6, then we do 30 minus 6 to get 24. So it's going to be x over 6 equals 24 for x. Cross multiply, that's x squared. 25 times 6 is 150, 150 minus 6 is 144. Okay, then we can take the square root from both sides. X is going to be 12. Okay. 10 through 15. We're finding the geometric mean of two numbers. We do so by taking the square root of the products. Okay, so square root of 5 times 8. This is square root of 40, which is a 6.325. Geometric mean of 7 and 11 is the square root of 7 times 11. That's the square root of 77, which is equals 8.775. Uh, square root of 36, so square root of 4 times 9. This is the square root of 36, which is 6. Okay. Square root of 2 times 25. This is square root of 50. 7.071. Okay. Square root of 6 times 8. It's going to be square root of 48. And that one is um, 4 root 3. 6.928. Then square root of 8 times 32. Um, 8 times 30, so that's 240 plus 16, that should be um, 256. Which is six. So these were your decimal answers. You could have left them in radicals, but those are your decimal answers. 16, 17, and 18, we're solving for the variables x, y, and z. Let's start with x. x is an altitude. 
So we're using the two pieces of the hypotenuse. So we have x over something x. So the two pieces are 5 and 15. Okay, cross multiply. That's x squared equals uh, 75. Take the square root of both sides. Square root of 75 is 8.66. Uh, let's find y. y is a leg. Okay, so it's thinking y over something equals something over y. So we're using the closest, the piece of the hypotenuse that's closest to y. And then the whole hypotenuse. So 15 is the piece that's closest. The whole hypotenuse is 20, 5 plus 15. Cross multiply, that's going to be y squared equals 300. Uh, square root 300 is 17.32. And then Z is also a leg, so we're using the closest and the hypotenuse. The closest piece is 5, and the hypotenuse is 20. 5 plus 15. Cross multiply, that's z squared equals 100. Take the square root of both sides, z is going to be 10. Okay, and that's x, y, and z for 16. Okay. Uh, 17, x is an altitude, so we use two pieces of the Hypotenuse, so that's going to be x over 9 and 3 over x. Again, you can do it the other way. You can do 3, x over 3 and 9 over x. You can do 9 over x and x over 3, um, or 3 over x and x over 9. Okay. Um, cross multiply, that's x squared. 9 times 3 is 27. So we're going to do square root of 27 is 5.196. Okay. Y is a leg. So we're using the closest piece of the hypotenuse and the whole thing. So Y over 3 is going to equal 12 over Y. And it's 12 because that's the hypotenuse. 9 plus 3 is 12. The closest piece is 3. The whole hypotenuse is 12. Cross multiply, y squared is 36. Take the square root of both sides, square root of the square. y is going to be equal to 6. Uh, z is also I like. So we're using the closest piece of the hypotenuse, which is 9, and then the whole thing, which is 12. So z squared is um, 108. Square root of 108 is 10.39. So then z equals 10.39. That's x, y, and z. All right, number 18, start with x. x is a leg. Okay, so the two pieces, or the closest piece of the hypotenuse is 6, and the whole hypotenuse is 6 plus 24, which is 30. Cross multiply, that's x squared. 30 times 6 is 180. So we take the square root of 180. 13.42. Y is an altitude. So we take the two pieces of the um, hypotenuse. So y over 6 is going to equal 24 over y. Again, you can do it the other way too. Cross multiply, y squared equals 
144, right? 6 times 25 is 150, minus 6 is 144. Which gives us y equals 12. Okay, and then z is also a leg, just like x was. So the closest piece of the hypotenuse for z is 24, and the whole hypotenuse is Cross multiply. Uh, this one you might need the calculator for. 24, so let's do 25 times 30. So 25 times 3 is 75. So 750 uh, minus 30, 720. Should be 720. 24 times 30 is 720. Take the square root of both sides. Z is the square root of 720. 36.23. Uh, 19 and 20. Let's determine the lengths of G, H, and H, K. So I'm going to call uh, G, H, X. We'll call H, K, Y. I'm also going to look at this missing piece we have here, um, right here. So this piece is 8. The whole hypotenuse is 32. 32 minus 8 is going to give us 24. So that piece is going to be 24. All right, let's look at X. X is a leg. Okay, so it's going to be X. Over the, the closest part, the closest piece of the hypotenuse, which is 8, and then the whole hypotenuse, which is 32. Cross multiply. Um, 8 times 3 is 2, that's 256. Square root of both sides, x is going to equal 16. We want to find y now. So that's gh. gh is 16. Okay, now we want to find y, which is hk. So here's y. It's also a leg. So the closest piece for the hypotenuse is 24. The whole hypotenuse is 30. Cross multiply y squared. Uh, then we just do this one. Um, 50 minus 30, uh, 30 720. Okay, square root. Oh, it's 32. Hotness is 32, I'm sorry. So, um, um, let's put it in. 32 times 24, 768, okay, square root of both sides, 27.7. Okay. The last one here, um, we're trying to find the distance across the lake, so let's call the distance across the lake x. X is, or the altitude here is 6. So the altitude is 6. Okay, the two pieces of the hypotenuse are 4 and X. We cross multiply, that's 4X equals 36. Divide by 4. X is going to equal 9. Okay. The units here is kilometers, or 9 kilometers. And that's it for the geometric mean worksheet.